Hello, good morning, all. So today we are uh, again in unit one, I think, of data structures and algorithms. So today we are going to see the collision retention strategy in uh, open hashing and closure. So let us go ahead and see what are the contents that we are going to cover today. So these are the contents that we will learn today, and that is uh, what is the collision. We will see a brief for definition of the collision and then we'll see what is the collision resolution strategy. So we'll see separate training which is used in open hashing where a bucket capacity is where it is for more than one. And then we'll see open addressing which is used in closed hashing where a bucket capacity is for single value or single key. So open addressing uh, is generally used as probing technique. To handle collision or to resolve collision, and there are three types of probing: that is uh, linear probing, quadratic probing, and double hashing. So let us go ahead and see what is collision. So see here, this is the definition of collision. I have divided into uh, points. So a collision occurs when more than one value is hashed by a particular hash function to the same plot in the hash table, right? So when more than one values are hashed by hash function for the same slot in a hash table data structure, so that is called as a collision, right? So this is a collision. So we need to handle this collision in hashing. And we have uh, two types of hashing, open hashing and closed hashing. So let us see how we can handle this collision. So here are the collision resolution strategies which are uh, mentioned in this diagram. So for open hashing, there is separate training uh, as uh, uh, we can store more than one keys or values uh, in a single bucket. So that bucket is like a chain of keys. That is why this technique is called as separate training. And in case of open addressing, which is used in closed hashing, where a single bucket or single location of the hash table can store a single key or value, okay, or associated record of that key. So for that, if one location can store only one key or value, we will need to find an alternative location which is empty when there is a collision. So this is this process of finding an alternative location is called as probing. So this probing is of three types: linear probing, quadratic probing, and double hashing. So in linear probing, quadratic probing, and double hashing, we actually search for the alternate empty location in the hash table using these three techniques. And whenever we, we will get an empty location, we will place that key which has uh, faced a collision uh, in the hash. Right? So this technique comes into uh, picture whenever there is a collision. So close that. So we'll see ahead that what is a separate chain. So this is a graphical representation of separate chain which uh, where well you can see uh, we are doing as an input to the hash function, and then this hash function will generate an index of a, a array, which is nothing but a hash table. And in the single location of the hash table, we are storing the key or value associated with that key. And then, if there is a collision, then you can see there is a, a chain or a linked list starting from each location where actually a node stores a single key or a value. So if there is there are multiple keys or values map to the same slot or same location of the hash table uh, that those number of keys or values can be chained, can be linked together using the link. Right? So this is a graphical representation uh, of uh, open hashing and collision handling in open hashing using separate chain. So this is an example of separate chain where you can see the table size is of uh, seven locations. So table size is seven. And the hash uh, function we are using is key mod table size. So suppose our first key is 50, so 50 mod 7 will give you 1. So we are storing 50 on location 1. There is no collision because location 1 was empty, it was 3. But for 700, again, when we do 700 mod table size, that is 7, the hash key is 0. That is why we are storing 700 on location 0. After that, for 76, to insert 76, 
seven to six mod seven will give us a, a, a output as six. So we are storing seven to six on location six. Okay, we are still not uh, seeing the collision during inception. So now we are going to insert eighty five, and for eighty five, uh, eighty five mod seven will give us index one. So on index one there is already fifty, and uh, now there is twenty one, right? So eighty five will be inserted in the same location one because we are inserting a new node for the location one, and that is eighty five. So this is how a chain is started from a bucket, okay, uh, or from one location of a hash rate, right? Similarly, uh, if we can go for ninety two. Insert ninety two. So ninety two mod seven will also give us output as one. So on index one there is already fifty and eighty five. So a new node is created. Insert ninety two. Right. To see how a chain is created and how we can insert multiple keys in a single location of a table. Right. So this is how the collision is handled using separate chain. Now for to insert one zero one also. One zero one mod seven will give us uh, the output three. So three is the index where one zero one should be stored. But on index three, there is already seventy three. So this is the collision, and we are handling it by creating a chain. Okay, on the same location, one zero one will be inserted as a new node for location three. Right. So this is how separate chaining works. Now we'll see what is the open address. So in open addressing, uh, we know That a single location of a hash table can store only one pure value. So there is, uh, we need to use or we need to find an alternate empty location, and that is by probing, right? So searching alternate location, uh, empty location is probing, right? So initially we will see linear probing. So let me for linear probing, let us see an example. So again a table of size seven. Then we are inserting 50 on location one because 50 mod table size, 50 mod seven gives us the index one. For 700, we get the index zero. So 700 is inserted at index zero. For 76, we get an index six, right? So 76 is inserted at index six. And then for 85, there is a collision because for 85 mod seven we get index one, but on index one there there is already Fifty. Uh, so on that index, we cannot insert it five because it is not uh, open hashing. It is closed hashing because one location will allow only one or one, right? So find alternate empty location. So how to find after index one, which is the next empty location? Search sequentially. So if one is full, check whether two is empty. Yes, location two is empty. So insert it five on location two. Right. So after that, insert 90. So for 92 again, I think index one is generated because 92 mod seven will give you one, right? So for index one is already full. Now check sequentially for empty location. So index two is also full. Index three is empty. So plus 92 on index three. So this is how we will insert one zero one and seven three also. From seven to three, I think index four is generated, right? Seventy one. I mean, no. Index three is generated, right? So for seventy three, index three is generated. Index three is empty. So check sequentially. Index four is uh, empty. So plus seventy three on index number four. Now for one zero one, for one zero one, this index will be generated. One zero one mod seven, right? So it will be this index seven into one seven into seven. Going to four twenty eight, which is index number three, right? But three is already full. Four is already full. So one zero one is considered as one zero. Sorry, index five. So one zero one is actually not the location number three, but there is then the collision. So search or probe sequentially on index number four, which is also full. Then on index number five, which is empty. So insert one zero. Fine. So this is how we search linear, how we probe linearly to insert the values in hash table after collision. Now we'll see quadratic table. So 
when quadratic probing there is a special thing that uh, we can initially hash the key which will give us uh, an index and if the location or index uh, for which the index is generated is already full then in case of linear probing we added hash key plus one mod table size then check whether the location is key then hash key plus two mod table size then hash key plus three mod table size so this is how we are like if hash key is four then four plus one five mod table size if that is also full then five plus one mod table size if that is also full then go on right so we are adding one two three sequential right but in case of quadratic problem if the hash key okay that is if the key is x so for that x we are generating an index by key mod table size using the division method so if on that location generated by hash x there is already a value so that is a collision so how we check the next location so in linear probing we check sequentially in quadratic probing, we add square of one, square of two, square of two in the hash key. So if the initial hash key is hash of x, then we'll add hash of x plus one square mod table. Now, if hash of x plus one square mod table size is also full, then we try for hash of x plus two square mod table size. If that is also full, then we try for hash of x plus square mod table size and this process is repeated for all the values of i until an empty slot is found. So this is an example. So see uh, table size is seven we are going to insert seven to six so seven to six mod seven is six and location six is empty so there is no collision so insert seven to six. Now for in, uh, 40 40 mod seven is five and location five is three so insert 40 uh, on location five. Now for 48 mod 7, location number is 6 and that is already full, so there is a collision. Now, we have a hash key that is 6, so hash key plus 1 square, so 1 square is 1, so 6 plus 1 7 and mod 7 will give us 0 and location 0 is empty, so insert 48 on location 0. Now for 5, 5 mod 7 will give us 5 and location 5 is already full, so there is a collision. So, do the quadratic probing and how, how we do quadratic probing. So, hash key is 5. So, hash, hash key plus 1 square mod table size. So, 1 square is 1. So, 5 plus 1 is 6 mod 7. So, that is 6. But location 6 is already full. So, then 5 plus, that is hash key plus 2 square. So, hash key is 5 plus 2 square is 4. So, 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 mod 7 is 2. So plus 5 on location 2 as that is 3. Right? So initially we got location 0 when we do uh, sorry, uh, location 6, which uh, is already full. So we did hash key plus 2 square, and then we got location 2, which was 3, which was empty. That is why we plus 5 there. If location 2 was all, all, also full, then we did, we would have done hash key plus 3 square more table size and so on. Now, see for uh, 55, 55 mod 7 will give us uh, 6, but location 6 is already full. We have 76 there, so we cannot insert 55 on location 6. So, let us probe, let us find an alternate identification. And I think uh, for 55 mod 7, we have a hash key 6. So, 6 plus 1 square is uh, 7, and 7 mod 7 is 0, but on 0 is there is already now 6 plus 2 square 6 plus 2 square is 4 and uh, so that is 6 plus 4 is 10 10 mod 7 is given 10 mod 7 is given 3 and uh, location 2 is 3 so insert 55 on location 2 so this is how quadratic probing works and now we'll go for double hash so like in linear probing we have uh, used the function after collision that is hash 2 plus 1, hash 2 plus 2, hash 2 plus 3, mod table size. In case of quadratic problem, we have the function hash 2 plus. 
1 square as q plus 2 square as q plus 2 square mod 7 pi okay and so on but in double hashing we are going to use two hash functions after collision okay that is very important initially we will use only one function until there is no collision okay so we place the values we map the q in the hash table using single hash function but as soon as there is a collision we will use second hash function so from one hash function we'll get a one hash key. from second hash function we'll get a second hash key that is two hash location and then what first hash location that is hash key plus one into second hash location or hash key mod table size will give you first probing location okay so we check whether on that location uh, it is free or full if it is empty then we will place the key there if it is not empty then first hash key plus two into second hash key mod size will give me one more alternate location i will again check whether that location is empty or full if that is also full then again i will do i will repeat this and then first hash key plus key into second hash key mod size will give me again one more alternate location i will check whether that is also full or empty if that is also full then i will go on so first hash key plus one two three into second hash key and then mod size so this is the uh, formula which is used for equal hash so second hash function is come comes into the picture when when there is a full otherwise we will use only first hash function so here is an example Something. So double hash, right? So see, hash function. First hash function is what? P mod table size. And second hash function is what? Seven minus P mod seven. So here table size is thirteen. And in second hash function, we have not used table size. Okay? It is just seven minus uh, P mod seven. Okay? So we can have any two types of hash function. But initially, suppose I want to map. 19 to the table hash table so hash of 19 is 19 mod 13 so 6 position 6 is empty so plus 19 at that level so if there is no collision only one hash function is used now again for 27 hash, hash of 27 is 27 mod 13 and uh, the location is 1 so location 1 is empty so plus uh, uh, 27 on the position one. Now hash of 36 is uh, 36 mod 13 and that is 10. So 10 is also empty. So plus 36 over there. Now for hash, hash of 10, 10 mod 30 which gives me location 10 again. So now see we have already placed 36 on location 10 and now to place 10 on the same location, that is location number 10, there is a collision. So one, once there is a collision, then second hash function comes into the picture. So that is second hash function is what? 7 minus p mod 7. So 7 minus 10 mod 7. 10 mod 7 is 3. So 7 minus 3 is 4. So the output of first hash function was 10. And output of second hash function is 4. So my first hash key is 10. Second hash key is 4. So how I will get uh, uh, the location number to, to search for whether it is empty or full, alternate empty location. So first hash key plus one into second hash key mod table size. So first hash key plus one into second hash key mod table size. So that gives me one. And uh, on location one, there is already 27 plus 20. So that is well again full. So now hash, first hash key plus two. Now initially I multiplied second hash key with one. Now multiply with two. So two into hash second hash key mod table size. That gives me five. Second hash key location five is empty. So plus uh, key ten at location five. Right? If this location five would also be full, then how I will go ahead? First hash key plus two into second hash key mod table size, right? and so on. This is how double hashing works.
Here also there is another example which was seventy six initially with the first hash function that is seventy six mod seven. So on location six ninety three mod seven on location two it is empty no collision. For what also there is no collision forty mod seven five five is empty no collision. Now for forty seven uh, I got the location forty seven mod seven which was five. But on the second side, there is also a value. So now, second hash function rotates for t with second hash function, and second hash function here is five mod five minus forty seven mod five, and that is t. So first hash is five, second hash is t. So five first hash plus one into second hash, so that is five plus t eight mod table size that is uh, seven. So seven sorry eight mod seven. One and one becomes three. So plus forty-seven on the second one. Now for ten, ten one to three becomes three. So plus ten on the second three. Now fifty-five, fifty-five more than six, and location six is already full. So there is a collision. Then second half function will be full. Second half function will be full like five minus fifty-five more five. Right? Five because fifty-five mod five is zero. So five mod zero is five. So first has to be six. Second has to be five. So first has to be plus one into second has to be that is six plus five eleven. And eleven mod seven five that is seven. So this is four. So on the location four to ten to plus fifty-five on the second four. So this is how we can use two hash functions. When there is collision, so until collision, until there is no collision, we still use a single hash function. But as soon as there is a collision, we need to find an alternate empty location. So second hash function, so we get two hash first and second. First hash plus one into second hash, or first hash plus two into second hash, first hash plus three into second hash, not the other side. And we go on like this until we get a location and right. So this is how probe to search for an alternate location in the short collision during close action. So I hope so. So okay, so this is enough for understanding of the collision collision strategy in open hacking and closed hacking. So Open hacking, uh, we use separate pin, and in closed hacking, we use open addresses, which is uh, probing and that is uh, linear probing, quadratic probing, and double.